Tell me, what are you currently reading? I am reading the Game of Thrones series. I fell in love with the TV show on HBO, and uh, I'm currently on book three of that series and just really enjoying it. What is a book you can think of that you could read over and over and never tire of? I would say The Stand by Stephen King. It's a big, thick story with all kinds of characters and all kinds of plot twists and everything from scary stuff to spiritual stuff. It's just such a rich story that um, I could probably read that once a year for the rest of my life. <laughs> Is there a book that stands out to you from high school that was on the curriculum that you read, either positive or negative? Yes. In fact, I, I have a copy of it, Lord of the Flies. Positive or negative? Very positive. You know, a lot of the classics we had read growing up, I enjoyed them, but they didn't stick with me until this one. It was just so dark and twisted in some ways and just such a heavy story. It really, really stuck with me. And so later on, when I wrote the Maze Runner series, it was definitely inspired by Lord of the Flies. What's the toughest criticism you've had about your books? You know, it hurts when people say things about my characters. You know, I, I, characters are so important to a story that if I see a, a review or something where they think my characters weren't developed enough, that hurts more than anything else. What's the most positive thing that you've heard? I think when I have an impact on a reluctant reader is probably what means the most. So if there's a kid out there who doesn't who thinks that he or she doesn't like to read, but they read my books and fall in love with it, I can't think of anything that could mean more. So that's probably the greatest.